I'll let you in if you fit into a tutu. An hour before the ballet academy exam, I blacked out. I thought it was exhaustion, but turned out I was pregnant. Pregnant women shouldn't get out of bed, my fiancé growled. I didn't want to lose my beloved, so I agreed. I continued training with the doctor's permission, though. Stop it! You'll hurt the baby! Keith shouted. After giving birth, I devoted all my time to my daughter. I wanted to return to ballet a year later. You're not giving up your daughter for stupid dance! Keith barked. But it's only a couple of hours a day, and we can hire a nanny, I suggested hesitantly. It's too expensive. I'm the only one working. I'll decide where my money goes, Keith yelled. But I never stopped dreaming, and after I sent my little girl to school, I signed up for ballet class. Where do you think you're going? Keith stopped me at the door. He tipped all the stuff out of my bag and wiped his feet on it. You're too old for ballet, he sneered. No, I got that in my first ballet class, I cried. You'll never dance. Keith flung the statue and it broke. I rode off ballet for years and devoted myself to my family. After 15 years of married life, Keith filed for divorce. She's a young, <coughs> slim ballerina, nothing like you. <laughs> Keith brought his lover into our house and kicked me out the door without a penny. You never earned a cent, you housewife, he mocked me. And our daughter's living with me. You can't feed her anyway, he scoffed. Keith slammed the door in my face, stealing my entire past. I had nowhere to go, and my feet led me to my old school. I did a few clumsy steps and felt joy well up inside. Are you here for a class or for work? A stranger interrupted me. They were looking for a new receptionist, and I was the ideal candidate. With my first paycheck, I quickly hired a lawyer to sue Keith for assets, and most importantly, for my daughter. At ballet school, I saw my husband's lover. I'd been looking forward to this meeting for a long time. What do you want from me? She grunted. I have a gift for you, I replied. After I said that, she ran away in confusion. Keith came into the courtroom, smiling victoriously. You won't get a thing, he said smugly. My lawyer destroyed him, though. I got half of all the property and sole custody of my daughter. That's not all, I said to devastated Keith as a goodbye. After winning, I got my confidence back and started ballet. I was shy and felt clumsy in my first lessons. But thanks to my efforts, I got back into shape. I danced as well as the young ballerinas. It was here, among the rustling of tutus, that I realized a loving person would never destroy your dream. Now Amanda also knows what Keith is really like. It's a gift from your ex! Rejecting the proposal, Amanda handed Keith the present. You won't ruin my life either! She declared. Keith broke my dream, but now he got what he deserved. He's all alone, and I'm just starting out in life. I finally passed my ballet exam. Now I'm getting ready for my first ever performance. Neither my age nor spiteful husband was an obstacle to my dream.